Okay, so here are some weird things about Italy that I have discovered since being here. So the first is that you can buy bread in the store that's already toasted. It looks like a regular loaf of bread, but it's all, like hard and already toasted, which I think is hysterical and so strange. So for laundry, we only have one washer in the kitchen, and then everything has to get hung out. There's lines outside of almost every window, um, and then everything else is hung on drying racks, and there's one drying rack per room. Um, the bread also has no salt in it. Um, they salt their foods, but the bread doesn't have any salt in it. When you go to the um, egg section in the food store, they're not refrigerated and it's all fresh eggs. At restaurants, you have to pay for water and you also have to, um, they don't like, it's called a caperto and it's basically a small fee, usually between a euro fifty and um, two euro fifty um, for just like sitting, it's like a sitting fee. Um, so that's another thing that you have to do at restaurants. Um, and also at restaurants you have to ask for the check. They won't just bring it over to you. They think that's rude. Um, so they'll never bring the check over to you. Um, you always have to ask for it. Um, when you, Another thing about the grocery store is when you pick out fruits and vegetables, you pick them out yourself and then you go to the scale and weigh them and, pr and it prints out a little um, ticket and you stick it on the bag and then that's the, it has the barcode on there. Um, they also really uh, don't drink as much white wine as we do. The food stores are packed with red wine, but there's really not a lot of red, um, sorry, there's not a lot of white wine. And then also chicken and pasta combined together is not a thing, it's like super taboo. Um, when you're walking down the street, a lot of people will pass you on the left instead of the right, which is another weird thing. Um, everyone, like, not everyone, but most people, if they're going to drive, will drive Vespas or little scooters. Um, not a lot of people have cars. There's no, um, there's not a lot of parking in, especially in Florence, um, and it's a walking city. We walk everywhere um you know the train station is a mile away you walk it the your class is a mile away you walk it you have to walk everywhere everywhere um so that's something definitely a little bit different than at least the suburban lifestyle in the city you walk and take public transportation but um in florence you walk everywhere um and yeah, that's pretty, uh, there's also a noise ordinance, and they take their noise really seriously. The first day we got here, our apartment is one of the only apartments that has air conditioning in it, and our, <laughs> the first day we were here, um, mine and Casey's neighbor across the way from our room was like, your air conditioning is so loud, um, but there was nothing we could do about it, because we didn't even have fans that we could have turned on, there was just the AC. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much all of the like interesting things about Italy and how they differ from the United States. So I hope you guys liked this little video. There will definitely be more to come and I'll be posting on Facebook about anything that you guys have questions about. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.